Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Microsoft PowerPoint's presenter view in really easy and simple way. Let's get started. So before I start with the slideshow and before I start with the presenter view explanation, I just want to show you how it looks like and then I'll show you how you can uh, go in this uh, view. But let me tell you before we start that to have a presenter view and to have a slideshow view, you need to have two monitors. But if you don't have it, then you, I can either choose some other ways or some other alternate options to manage that. Either with a laptop or with a second screen or with having like two monitors so that, that you can effectively present. Now let's get back to the first. So here you can see that in the home tab, uh, you will have in the tab, the ribbon in the Microsoft PowerPoint, you will have a tab named as slideshow. So once you go in the slideshow options, you will have different options how to start a slideshow which says from beginning and from current slides. We won't go in detail for the custom slideshow for now, but here you can see that in the monitor option, below the monitor option, there's an option which says use presenter view. So if you click on this presenter view, you will be able to have an option which looks like something uh, similar to this one, which is actually a presenter view. But if you change display settings and you want to swap between the presenter view and the slideshow, you can easily do that. So now the my other monitor is showing a presenter view. So now I'm just quickly going back to a presenter view on the my main screen and I will show you how it works. So now the main contents of the presenter view, as you can see, includes uh, the presentation slide which is a slideshow and also shows you what is uh, coming next so that you can be prepared and also you can have some sample text that you can use as as notes while you're presenting it really is helpful when, while you're presenting but let's say if your text is really uh, too large we can also work on how to manage that text and how to reduce the size of the text i will just get back to you in a couple of moments so now you can see that for the monitor that you have different options which says monitor one, primary monitor and the monitor one and primary monitor. So these are two monitors that I currently have connected to my desktop. So now you can choose either of them. It depends on you which monitor you want to have a main screen on. For example, most of the times when you have a webcam uh, in front of uh, a webcam on a monitor, you would like to have a presenter view on the monitor which has a webcam and the other screen for for uh, presenting so that you can just showcase that screen as a presentation uh, in a slideshow or in a zoom meeting and you can just use the main screen which has a webcam uh, just to use it uh, for presenter view for example how it helps is because while when you're using the presenter view screen with a webcam as your own screen like you are going to read out from that screen using a presenter view and you what you do is like you share another screen which is a slideshow screen to the audience so they won't be able to see that you are using a presenter screen or you are you are using any kind of helping materials for example let's say this is my presenter screen and this is my monitor which has a presenter screen so in this monitor what i will do is i will have a webcam on this one so i'm not going to present this screen while i i am uh, sharing my screen on a zoom but rather i will present my second screen which is actually showing the complete slideshow which is this one okay so this is just for an example just so that you know it might sound a bit confusing but those of you who are more familiar with uh, uh, using two monitors they might understand how it works and how what I'm trying to explain but I hope that I explained in a uh, good way so that you all of you can understand pretty well now let's get back to the main things and we're pretty much done with this one so let's say this is our main slide and we want to add some sample text here we can just add uh, whatever text you want I'm just adding a lot of text so that I can show you an example like how you reduce the size of the text so once you're done you can go in the slideshow and you will have this option so you see that sometimes your text is too large you might want to squeeze it out and reduce the space that it takes what you can do is you can simply reduce the size by clicking here or increase the size by clicking over here other option that slideshow presenter view gives you is that you can use a pointer option for example you're using a laser pointer but the thing is that no matter what you're doing right now here it won't be visible to your audience because you are sharing another screen which is not the presenter screen okay so now let's say if i use these things and i use whatever like uh explanation that i want to do like this for example if i explain x plus y equals to z then you can show whatever you want to do that so once you're done with this one you can click on this one and you can say erase all link on the slide it will remove all the ink on the slide now let's explore the other options that we have now we have laser pointer for example we want to use a laser pointer we don't want to use a pen so for example we want to uh, emphasize on this part we can use a laser pointer to highlight this part 
if you want to change the color of the laser pointer you can also do that you can change like this and you can go whatever you want and if you want to do a highlighter you can also do something like this and you can also change the color of a highlighter uh, whatsoever you want so for example let's say let's go to the second slide and I will show you uh, how effective it is over here now if you want to emphasize let's say on this part you can highlight this part so that audience can see what you're talking about you can also use a pointer for that but it depends on what uh, do you think you want to use so now these are other things that you want to show like subtitle settings if you want to have subtitles you can show the subtitles if you want let's say these are the screen let's say black screen white screen let's say if I put a black screen that means you are you want to do something else or change to something else I don't know how does it work so how uh, how is this helpful yeah it can be helpful in a way for example if I want to explain something I can say that okay let's have a, a black screen I'm going to use a pointer here let's say a pen and then I'm going to explain whatsoever I want to explain and then I can quickly go back to my main screen so that's how it can be helpful now one of the most important thing that I wanted to mention this video is like once you're done with this video let's say you are at the slide 11 and you are almost like finished and done with your uh, video and you're like saying thank you now someone asks you a question hey can you go back to the slide number this 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 and whatsoever instead of going all the way like this scrolling all back to the slide 3 what you can do is that you can simply click on this finder so you can simply click on this one which is means see all slides let's say if you are on slide 3 and your audience wants to ask a question from slide number 11 so what you can do is you can just click on this one and then just simply click on slide 9 and you can uh, quickly go to slide 9 uh, instead of like scrolling down manually in the uh, slides like going all the way up and going all the way down it's like always a mess when you're asking questions so what you can do is that you can just simply click here see all the slides okay if the audience has a question already knows what the slide number is let's say he says go to slide number four you can just simply click on slide number four and you are here on the slide number four so these are some of the points that you can use and that might be helpful for you while you're presenting whether it be a zoom presentation or whether it's like a uh, main presentation of your company or your school or your uh, program whatever it is it's always helpful to know these kind of tips and it's always helpful to uh, use these kind of tools and these kind of effective uh, ways to in help effective ways that can help to improve the way you present and also give you much more confidence so that's all for today i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions comment please leave your comments down below if you have any queries or if you want me to help you learn something new please leave your uh please uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see in the next videos i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible i hope you guys like this video if you haven't watched my previous videos do watch them and if you have any questions please leave your comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible till then take care Allah Hafiz.